Hi and welcome to my workshop. This is my first try at a shop talk video. The idea of doing this came to me over the last couple of weeks when I got more involved with the woodworking community and when I shared um, ideas and thoughts on Instagram with other woodworkers. I got into sticker swapping with a couple of woodworkers from the US and from Germany and that really gave me a sense of community and I thought in a project video I just document what I did and what I'm doing and with the project but um, there is really more to it and I wanted to try and exchange ideas and share thoughts and perhaps gather some input from you who are watching this because not all projects come out of my head in a proper way and perhaps before I start them it's a good idea to share some ideas that I have and to ask for input from you who are watching this and who might have woodworking experience as well. And another aspect is that I thought that on Instagram and YouTube there are so many great woodworkers um, that I want to highlight a couple of them, especially the ones that I've shared stickers with, so that you might actually ex um, explore and find new channels and new woodworkers that you haven't heard about. At the moment I have a lot of project ideas, but I'm very short on time. I'm very busy at work, so spare time that I can spend in the shop is very sparse. And so I have to sit on my ideas, as it were, because um, I don't have the time to actually tackle them and put them on. So one of the ideas that I have at the moment in one project that's already planned is to make a raised bed for our garden. Uh, I want to build it with Douglas fir boards, which I've already bought. Um, and I got the idea of how to construct the raised bed from another YouTube video. And I like the construction technique very much because there are no beams in the corners of the raised bed. Um, it's just a sort of half lap joint that each board has a cutout and goes together with the next board in a 90 degree angle. And then a threaded rod goes through all of the boards and pulls the corners together. So if you have any ideas on this or do you see any, if you see any drawbacks with this technique, I'd like to know in the comments and I'd really appreciate your feedback. Another thing that I'm thinking about and about which I haven't made up my mind yet is what to do with the space in the card for my table saw. Um, there is a big empty space at the moment. Um, I thought I'd make a draw for it, but I haven't made up my mind yet. I don't know how exactly I should divide the drawer, what I want to put into the drawer. I thought of the saw blades, for example, and of the hose for the shop vac. Um, I thought of other, other accessories that I might need for the table saw, but as I said, uh, I don't have any clear ideas and I'm really not decided yet. So if you have any ideas, or uh, if you have examples of what you put in the space underneath your table saw, I'd really appreciate if you comment and if you tell me some ideas um, so that I might, make up my mind, I might make up my mind about it and get going with this in the near future. Lastly, I want to point you to some of the woodworkers with whom I've swapped stickers with. Um, it's really been a great experience for me getting into the sticker swapping thing. At first I didn't really get it, I have to say, but after I've exchanged um, a couple of stickers with some woodworkers from Germany and the US, it really gave me a sense of community which is there in the YouTube channels and the Instagram accounts from people around the world who are interested in this kind of uh, hobby for some and work for others. Um, and it really gave me a sense of sharing ideas and sharing knowledge with others. And I learn a lot from what other people post. And I hope that you can learn something from the things that I post. And to do that, it's of course important that we all get to know each other more and that we point each other to the, the makers and content creators um, that we like to watch and whose work we enjoy. So. Here is a look at my sticker wall as it is at the moment. Um, it's not very full yet, but I've really just got started. Nevertheless, there are some great woodworkers there. Um, I put all the links to their channels and to their Instagram accounts in the description of this video. And I encourage you to have a look at them. It's really worth checking out their content. Um, there is a lot to learn and a lot of nice and interesting examples from which you can take enjoyment. So that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed this format. If you have, let me know. If you have any criticism or uh, suggestions for improvement, also let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. If you like my channel, if you like my content, of course, I appreciate the subscription, a like, a share, whatever you do. 
Um, it's of course a lot of motivation getting this kind of feedback for all the people um, who put content on the web. So if you enjoy this content, share, like, subscribe. It really motivates the content makers and the content creators to put out more stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.